apply one of their, their laws, mathematical laws, known as the law of compound probability. Apply it to scripture, to this proof, to discredit, to invalid invalidate the scriptures so that nobody any longer believes in the word of God. I believe that the word of God is inerrant. I believe that the word of God is insoluble. And I believe that heaven and earth will pass away, but that the word of God will never pass away. How many believe that with me? Praise the Lord. This group of mathematicians got together and they first proved or rather <clears throat> reached a consensus about certain geographical things, some locations, some events, some historical events, historical figures. They, they took it for granted that yes, they could not disprove that certain individuals in history did in fact live. That certain places mentioned in the word of God are literal places on the planet today. So they took that much for granted. But what they did was they took certain scriptures from the Old Testament, namely scriptures surrounding prophetic events about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And they took eight prophecies from the Old Testament and they applied the law of compound probability to those scriptures.